thermostat and water pump leaking $1,585 um <sighs> See how much money you're gonna cost me today. What's up, y'all? Good morning. This week I'm on spring break and I'm deciding to spend my money Monday to take this car into Audi because my coolant somewhere is leaking. Hopefully they don't try to quote me an arm and a leg because if they do, I'm gonna pull up out of that guy and come back to the house so I can go back to sleep. I don't know what in the life of me decided to come to Audi. Eight o'clock in the morning, what I'm on break. Can we fit in? Yeah, we can, let's get it. How you doing, man? Uh, yeah, I do. What's your name? Smith. Oh, I appreciate you, man. 171, for the diagnostic. I don't mind if I do. You know, part of me always thinks about just trade the car in, just, just get rid of the car, upgrade to something newer. You know, because even when Jamila and I were exploring Tampa and that Ford that we called a hoopty, but it really did a good job by getting us to and from. Even to have the interface with the touchscreen and everything thereof that came on the car, like the rear view camera, the heated, steering wheel like all that type of stuff makes me say you know what just upgrade the car but then i remember that i'm in the position of paying that car off <sighs> i ain't gonna lie i'm liking looking at these new cars right here i have my laptop with me to get back to the order business because i am going to edit while i'm here our tampa 2 video y'all hope and pray for me that this car doesn't cost me way too much because i have a limit and my limit honestly today is to spend nowhere more than five to six hundred dollars. I hate I hate spending money. I hate spending money. I hate spending money. Oh my gosh, I love to smell a new car. Like if I were to get a new car again, I would never eat inside of it. Like the stench. Like have y'all ever eaten food and then it just smells like like on the inside? I would never eat food if I got a new car ever again like once this new car smell is gone you can't get rid of it this is the new q5 this is the sport model right here this young is really nice really nice really nice i like that but the fuel economy is trash it's trash especially for this high of a price this is terrible 24 miles but i guess people who buy cars like this aren't necessarily in the business of taking it for a long road trip. Honestly, I think if I were to get another car, I think I'll probably go electric. <sighs> Let's get started on this work. Cause I can sit here and talk to y'all all day about man stuff, but I don't want to fall into the realm of mansplaining. So let's go ahead and get started before I get too far on the deep end. All right, let's do it. Mind you y'all, I'm here editing for y'all. Cause Mar Marcel loves jam fam. Oh Lord, thermostat and water pump leaking. 1585. Oh my lord. Alright, let's go downstairs. That's a thousand dollars over my budget. Alright, that don't make me happy. Let me go downstairs. Just came back from downstairs and the diagnostic is uh, My left axle shaft needs to be replaced. That is, when I first saw the price, I was like, oh, that might just be a recommendation for upcoming services, but that's $2,075. It says splashing grease all over the place. 
thermostat and water pump leaking $1,585 <sighs> seems like as soon as you start getting ahead something always pops up that's okay though we're gonna, we're gonna find a way so I got a couple things that I'm brainstorming about right now a I got my car for CarMax, and when I first got my car for CarMax, I purchased something that's called My CarMax Care or something like that. And I'm gonna see if I can utilize that because that is supposed to put a significant chunk down on whatever service that I need to get replaced. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I had to put the camera down a second ago because I just kind of got overwhelmed. And it's crazy. It's like you start seeing yourself get ahead, and something always find a way to try to pull you back down but key words try we're not gonna let it pull us down you know how early i said everything is gonna work out it's gonna be a try that could the devil's a liar devil is a certified liar god came through once again and we gonna bring this car back in the morning so when I purchased this car from CarMax in 2018, I was a little apprehensive about adding an extended limited war warranty on the car. Good thing I did. Because, I, God, thank, thank you, God. Lord, thank you God, for everything. Thank you, Lord, thank you. So, to kind of get you all caught up, uh, God is, man, thank you, God. Man, like, there was a moment when I was recording in there where I talked about overwhelm. Like, I started getting, like, a little teary-eyed. Because it's like, man, it's like you work so hard to get stuff, like, to finally get ahead. And when you finally get ahead, I feel like that is the prime real estate for the devil to try to drag you right back down. Call CarMax. So, let me tell you why CarMax is so significant here with labor and everything i was looking at somewhere north of four thousand dollars but now i only have to pay 775 dollars and it might be less when i bring it back to mark because he said hey parts might be a little bit cheaper than what we think it is but right now 775 dollars so i'm cool with that that's straight cash that kind of puts me a little bit north of what i was expecting to pay today but 775 dollars Versus like $4,000. You can't tell me God don't exist. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey. 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 Because we catch so many W's today, had to make a breakfast for champions with extra syrup. Um, excuse me, Blue. Excuse, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I know you look so comfortable. Blue, you out of control. You are out of control, sir. Thank you. Um, it's a laundry day today, so don't judge me. I always got to keep one of these in the arsenal just in the event that you run into issues like today, but... Ladies look good though, but don't judge me. So let me show y'all how cool this is. Look, now that I'm okay with the uh, the service price, this is what my service uh, came up to be, right? So mind you, this is not including labor. So $3,872, but what's cool is they actually show you what needs to be replaced. So this is the axle. So just look at this, look at this. It's open and the grease is sling out completely. And here's for the water pump. Man, we are living like in the oh Lord. We are living in the future, y'all. Now that we've gotten my car, you know, we're just gonna name this video car issues, question mark, 
or whatever you want to name it. But right now, what I am doing is about to take Jamil's battery out the car. Now, I took out the phone with AutoZone and Mazda. They kind of, I first called Mazda to try to figure out, excuse me, man, if I can, you know, ask some generic questions to try to see what could be possibly going wrong with her car. So he told me that it could be a couple of things that I'm not going to get into just because I'm not like the expert car mechanic type of guy. What? Just trying to get this set up. Come on, you come out here. Come on. Come on. But you're going to have to, you're going to have to stay by me now. Oh, I'm going to fill up the doggone thing. <sighs> that corrosion that you see right there is probably part of the reason the Hernie's batteries always corrode. I did a better job getting it treated because you don't see any corrosion here, but on her mounts from the last battery, it's still a lot of corrosion there. I didn't have anything to clean up the corrosion, but her terminals look really clean. It looked really good actually, but let's get this cleaned up. Just wanted to say that before y'all start talking about, look at all that corrosion, that's why the car battery on start. You wanna go with me to AutoZone? Get you out of the house for a little bit, take on a nice little casual stroll through the neighborhood. All right, let's go. Y'all, if I can get Jamila's car to work today, ooh, I feel like I'm slowly making my way into the doghouse if I don't get her car fixed. So, I like to be as far as away, far away as I can possibly can. All right, well, I'm gonna leave you in the car for a second. Be good, though. What the? All right, this time we got gloves, got everything, got blue. You ready to go home? I know, but I'm gonna get y'all. You have fun? You ready to get out of the car? Lord have mercy. Put this up. All right, and we lit. You have fun? Huh? You have fun riding with me? Huh? Hey, thanks for riding with me, man. Let me guess you want to go inside. I got you. Just let me know when you're ready to go back in. Oh, that a mosquito? No. Blue light, don't you ever have me outside this house again in these streets. Go ahead, bye. You were thirsty? I don't know. You ready to go back out? Blue don't make no sense. <laughs> right, let's get this battery. <laughs> Uh, installed. Gotta make sure I tighten up the battery as tight as possible because I didn't do that the last time. And because I didn't do that last time, I think it caused premature death of the last battery. My teeth look crazy from this angle. But anyway, let's get this. Let's get this battery fixed up, y'all. Oh, it look crazy. You wanna go back inside? You don't wanna hang out with me, boy. I don't wanna hear you crying. I don't wanna hear you crying in the house. Go on out here and leave me alone. So Blue started crying five seconds after being left inside. You know what? I'm gonna have to pull out like the black mom in me. I mean, not in me, but I'm gonna have to like emulate the black mom. You either gonna be inside or out. You ain't gonna be both. Oh, they got a grip on it too. I'm not like sick. Oh yeah, I feel like, man, I am a mechanic. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna be able to tell me anything now. But I got him some glove. I ain't, y'all ain't, I'm a mechanic certified. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Baby, 
Damn, I sure did. <laughs> that wasn't a lot of folk. Wasn't taking me seriously. I forgot I had to kiss my face. <laughs> Baby, I know you did. You been on camera. You saw no kiss. You saw that kiss on your face. But when I got in work mode, I forgot. Here. Test it out. Battery good. Go crank the car up, baby. Hey! Stop playing with me! Stop playing with me! <laughs> hey, so uh, hell. If you don't get out my car, then I'm like, y'all. If you didn't come out of me, hurry up, honey, before you go get to the front down now. Go down, go down, go down. Go play, be right there, okay? Thank you, Lord. You've been showing out today. I'll see you to Addy. All right, everybody. Good morning. Well, we are off in a way to the dealership. So this baby can be worked on. And luckily, Jamila's car is working today to where she can pick me up. Because you see, today's appointment is strictly and 100% a drop off because this is going to be an all day surgery event. All right, car, they're going to take care of you, okay? You know, this, see, this is how all they get you, right? They put you up in the loaner so you can trade in your old vehicle for the new one. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, y'all. I kind of miss driving a sedan because I can't hit them turn it like how I used to, uh, how I used to back in the day. But man, so luckily my man, oh, that's a great shot. My man got me a loaner. Yesterday they didn't really have any loaners, but they had one for me today. He, he was like, you know what? He's like, just come back. He's like, I, I get you one. Oh, that y'all lit. I gotta show y'all that once we get to the house. I think it's supposed to be hailing today, so let's put this car up in the garage. Oh, actually, I need to go get my garage clicker. All right, got the garage opening. Hey, we lit. Let go. That's what I was talking about. That's so cool. I'm so, man, my car's so old. <laughs> I mean, it's not old. It's a 15, which is kind of technically old, but I mean, you all get the point, right? With her, with her, and her. I hit up her, tell him do the her. Nigga, do the most, yeah, please. Oh, 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 they didn't sell some number with this car here. And I'm glad I got this thing in the garage. I think my mama says we'll be hailing today. Do you want to come get me? No, but I'm glad they did. Yeah, they weren't about to get nasty. Hey, teacher. Oh, you gonna teach down here? Right. Hey, teacher, you teacher. Yeah. Cause you're a teacher. I got seven more minutes before. We do our closing. They like the bingo game. Did they? How did it work out? They, they had bingo. Two of them had bingo after the first three words. Yeah. All right, y'all. Day three of. It's crazy how this vlog has turned into a trilogy but all packed into one. 
So I just got a call or I had to call them because I was like, why well, haven't y'all called me about my car yet? So not sure exactly where I left off. Oh, I didn't even finish recording yesterday. So brand new day, I'm so sorry. Brand new day, I wanna keep in the loaner car for the night. I didn't drive it because I'm not trying to put gas in the car. Um, and I had nowhere to go. I saw how heavy it was raining. So I called last, uh, not even night, called like around 5.30 yesterday. And they said that they were still waiting for the warranty company to send them the payments. But today I slept into about 11.30 and I called maybe around 12.30, one o'clock-ish. And he said he actually just got a phone with them like two minutes prior. And guess what my total is today? Now, last time I said it was gonna be like $7.95. My total for the whole entire expense is $5.95. So it even dropped down close to like another like $200. So I'm like highly blessed, highly favored. Like this might be the greatest comeback of all time. So for me to go from like $4,000, a little north of $4,000 all the way down to like $5.95, take your lesson. When you buy a car or a major liability like a car get that extended warranty you never know where you're going to need it but when you do need it it's there for you let's go pick the car up how do you uh what do you do to balance it Abel? love you honey you got leave yeah okay. i will no. honey in there teaching y'all but anytime like i'm about to leave the house while she teaching i still whisper like love you i'm out she be all out of her class she be like you out honey you leaving all online and stuff. This one? Lord. I hate when Blue goes to get his toy and I don't have any time to like play with him. That is honestly like one of the worst feelings ever. Y'all didn't see that. Ooh, I'm gonna miss this car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss this car. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. What y'all know about Lupe Fiasco? All right, look at God. See your car, it's a lot of fun driving you. I know my car went out in the rain all night. I know that ain't what y'all telling me. How y'all treating my baby? They took care of me, y'all. I gotta go online. A lot of times I get so caught up in the leave a bad review in the event that they did a bad job or I experienced like a bad service. But I've had a pleasant surprise. And the guy told me, and I'd say this for people who are kind of like in the market of getting a new car. As I stated earlier, get the extended warranty. But he was saying, don't get car shield. He said, I was lucky I had a good one. So when I purchased this car through CarMax back in 2018, I didn't know who the company was with, but going forward into my next car, I definitely would ask. But Fidelity, uh, Fidelity Group, and he said that I had one of the best. As you can see, 4,000 became 595 today. Yeah, y'all. We out of this guy. We all fixed up. We all good. Baby taken care of. Feel good about that. Let's go. You know, they say Chick-fil-A is the only place where people know how to merge properly. Yo, i never seen that sandwich before. Bacon, sausage, egg, cheese, biscuit. Yo, I need to start coming here for breakfast. Normally when I do, I just get a number one to be safe, but doesn't that look good? Uh, kind of doesn't, but I'll try it out anyway. Whoever gave Blue this toy, it's been so long. Thank you, he loves it.